Hey everyone, welcome back to another Discorders video. In today's video, you're going to learn how we can make our Discorders economic system. This video was highly requested. If this video actually gets enough support, I might as well make a part two or part three. But in today's video, we're just going to learn the basics about an economic system and, you know, basic just commands for making an economic system. Uh, nothing pretty fancy. But if this video gets enough support from you guys, I will definitely make a part two or part three. There's two things you guys need to know before we actually start today's video. Number one is you have the MongoDB database. And if you don't know how to can make a MongoDB database for your Discord bot or how you can connect to it, I have a video separated. You can just go, you can just go ahead and watch that. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. There's going to be an also a notification top right. You can just go ahead and click on it. The second most important thing you guys need to know is basically some basics of Discord.js. In case you guys don't know how you can make a Discord bot or anything like that, I recommend you guys choose just learn some basics at least because this is not going to work for you obviously if you don't know how, to, how you can make a Discord bot. Oh yeah, also there's going to be a source code in the description down below, but I recommend not copy and pasting because this is not going to work if you just copy and paste. I really shouldn't be saying this in every single video I make, but please, for God's sake, don't copy and paste. Because, you know, first of all, you're just humiliating a content creator's job for making the video. The second thing is basically you have to learn, right? You just If you just copy and paste, you're just going to be mad. It's going to take you even more time to realize what was the problem. And uh, I really don't recommend copy and pasting in any way possible. So just at least tune in until some seconds of the video and maybe then start copy and pasting if you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so without further ado, let's straight into today's video. So we're going to go ahead and open our code editor. And in this case, I use Atom. Um, we can use VS Code or whatever. It's not going to change anything. Um, it's, it's, it's not a really big deal, so just don't worry. So as you can see, also might notice that I'm not using Windows. Well, yeah, I kind of switched to Linux. And from now on, I use Linux for editing everything I'm going to do. Um, I kind of like Linux, to be honest with you. Windows was just pain, honestly. Like when I compare Windows to Linux now, holy cow, Linux is a lot better. And I use Atom in Linux because it's more... You know, it's better looking actually in uh, Linux and it's much better than VS Code in Linux. Well, I mean, you can use VS Code as well in Linux. But anyways, so uh, as you can see, I'm already located inside of my, you know, bot folder. So make sure you're in your bot folder. And um, so we're going to use a package in today's video, which is Discord Mongo Currency. That will make our work a ton easier because we don't have to basically uh, make every single function by ourselves. We can get some help from packages and Discord is all about node models and the packages, various different stuff. And NPM is really coming handy when you're trying to save time for yourself. So we're going to go ahead and first, um, basically, I'm gonna, in this case, because I don't use VS Code and Adam doesn't have a build in console, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, look good inside of my folder for installing the npm package using my console so i'm just going to go ahead and go to the github folder i'm going to go ahead and go to, instead of my um economic system folder and then i'm going to do npm i uh discord well i mean i can just go show you guys right now there we go so this is where the package is it's in the npm website we're going to go ahead and copy this here and i'm going to paste it and as you can see it's installed so to make sure you install it correctly, you just have to go to your package.json and in here you should be able to see Discord Mongo currency uh, in the, you know, basically the packages that we install. If you don't see it here, that means you haven't installed it yet, so just make sure about that. Anyways, the second thing you need to do is basically, let me close this because we don't need this here. So we're going to go into your main Discord.js file, which is in my case, index.js. So we're going to go ahead and as you can see, we need to require it inside of our index.js first. So I'm going to go ahead and require it. And I already have it here, so I don't have to be really worried about this. And then after that, you have to connect, uh, make the, you know, basically make the package to connect into your database. Uh, you can just simply do it by just doing Mongo currency that connect and some string connection. In my case, I have all of my stuff stored in my settings to JSON. I'm not going to click on it because every single token and database URL is stored in there and I don't want to really show it. Anyway, so you're going to go ahead and connect to your MongoDB database, put your MongoDB URL inside of here. Uh, but in my case, because I'm not using uh, basically URL, uh, I'm using your URL obviously in my signature JSON, but I don't want to show it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do config uh, dot MongoDB. So I don't have to hesitate in here. You just have to put your MongoDB URL inside of here. Same thing as you did for your old connection into your MongoDB in here. 
Anyway, so after you've done this, you just have to go ahead and now start off uh, by making the first command. In today's video, I'm gonna start off by first making the give command, which will give people coins and you can give other people coins. And obviously you can add permissions as you wish, but in this case, I'm not gonna add any permissions yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a file. I'm gonna call it give.js. Uh, and as you can see, everything is empty here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy a template and paste it. I'm gonna delete these because I don't need them. And then I'm simply going to call this a uh, give. You can call it anything else as you wish, but in this case, I'm just going to call it give, or you can call it give coin, anything you want, doesn't matter. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is basically defining the member. And uh, well, I mean, this in this case scenario, we want the person who sent the message uh, get the coin or the person who actually, well, first we need to mention someone to give the coin, right? So for doing that, we just have to define member. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and paste something here. As you can see, I don't need this either because we are not trying to give the person who sent the message coin, which will make everything weird kind of. Anyway, so in here we have the const member. So whenever we use member in our code is basically going to find, uh, the first mentioned person inside of our text we sent. So for example, question mark, give, and then a space, the person who we mentioned. So that's basically pretty clear, right? So this is going to be the person we're going to send the coin to. It can be ourselves, anyone else, but we should mention them after the command. So we need to do what we need to do next is basically give coin to someone. So for doing that, we just have to do await uh, Mongo currency um, dot give coin. So I think that's the pretty, pretty much that's the function we need looking for is the yes, there we go. Give coins. My bad is give coins. And then in here, we should put the properties. So in the properties area, we have to get the user ID for the user ID. We have to basically, um, be, we need to get the ID from the member, right? So we just have to do member ID. And then we need to basically look for a second option, which is the guild ID, which is the message dot author dot guild uh, that ID, I think message that the guild ID. Actually, we don't need author. So, and then we need to go ahead and give the amount. So the amount is going to be independent into our argument system. So my argument system, this is how my argument system works. I'm not sure about yours, but I think you should have some basic ideas about your argument system. Uh, for my argument system, whenever I put um, this, let me show you. So if I put args zero, it will look for the first argument and that's it. But if I put this one, it will look for the second argument which is in this case scenario, I want the second argument because the first argument I'm going to put is going to be the mentioned me person who we mentioned. So I'm not sure about yours. Yours might be the, this means one means the first argument. The two means uh, the second, but in my case, one means the second. So you should probably have some idea about your arguments system, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this is how it works for my case scenario. So you can also check your argument, how it works by just doing a console.log. I always recommend doing console.log when you don't know what's going on in something. You have to do console.log and then doing args one. And um, well, I mean, the source code can also see that my message event, uh, my message event, I use this argument system. As you can see, the args message event that slice uh, one. And as you can see, yeah, there we go. So this is, this is how my argument system works. I remove this, there we go. So this is how my argument system is. I use a message array and then use arg. So, well, you just have to have this uh, for your argument system and you should be totally fine. So the next thing we need to do is basically giving the coin and the amount. Now the amount is going to be, uh, we're going to do this and then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, args one. So the second argument is going to be the amount. So, and then it's going to also send a message saying message to channel that send, uh, we're going to say, I just gave this person, I don't know. We can just, I guess do a mention. And we also need to do do like this because it's pretty important uh, because we're trying to put a code inside of our text. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do member this amount of coin. And to just make it a little more beautiful, I'm going to do this because I don't know if you guys seen this before, but I'm pretty sure this is how it looks, right? Lol, as you can see, this is how the text looks. Uh, we want something like this, but since we already use it instead of our text, we have to do something like this. So it won't get, you know, a little bit weird looking. So we're going to go ahead, you know, basically it will mess up it. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, so in here, now we have to put the amount. The amount is going to be the args one. So we did it. That's a, this is going to work without a problem. I'm pretty, pretty sure, but 
we need to also check one more thing before we actually get into this and then basically we test this before so let's say if someone used the argument one as a letter or a name or whatever it wasn't an actual um, number right so it was a number so what are we gonna do in this kind of scenario so we have to make an if statement for the argument so the first if statement is gonna be if the args z args hold on a minute i did a mistake here args one if there was no args one which is the amount we're gonna go ahead and return uh or it is permits the channel that send you need to put an amount you can you can customize the text well i don't know but in this case it's just a tutorial purpose and let's see um we also have to check whether if our member has uh is included inside of our text if there was no member then say you need to put a member uh to give the points to i don't know i'm not really creative with messages trust me on that but uh, this is how you can actually uh check whether you they put something or not so and also we have to check whether something is a number so we have to do if um args one is nan so this is a function in javascript i'm going to show you guys right now javascript is nan is a pretty pretty good thing in my opinion so is uh, nan is basically checks um for the amount you know basically if the value or something is a number or not so so i think we do is nan and uh, then it's gonna return so it's not gonna work so simple as that now we just have to do no dot and test our code um this is not gonna work because okay yeah i made a mistake in the spelling area i'm gonna do no dot now I'm sorry, I forgot to make the beep capitalized. Oh, I wish I wish it was a mistake. So this is now, there we go, the bot is online. So now we just have to simply test our bot. This is gonna work pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and also open MongoDB Compass because we're trying to also check uh, if the database actually saves it something. So there we go, we connected. Now, as you can see, I have it in here. I'm gonna put it in here because we're not trying to look. I'm just gonna put it in here just in case. So now we just have to do give um, let me just give myself some coin. Let's do 10. Just give, uh, I just give this. Also, if you see this, uh, well, I mean, I made a mistake here because I disabled complete dimensions from my bot. That's why it's acting like this. So if I delete this completely, it will basically work without any problems. I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's just, if you disable mentions, it will basically avoid all of the pings in your Discord server. So you can, no one can abuse your Discord bot pinging everyone or whatever. So I, I kind of forgot to remove that. Anyway, so there we go, bot is online. That means if I do give again, uh, it's gonna mention me without any problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in here. And if I refresh in here, I should have a, something called currencies. Uh, string, you know, basically currencies collection. So if I click on this, as you can see, it saved my user ID, the guild ID, and the bank space, and the coins in wallet, which is 20. As you can see, I added 10 in first. The second time, I added another 10. And there we go. Awesome. Um, simple as that. Uh, pretty straightforward. We finally made ourselves a gift command, and it works charmingly good. So if I just don't ping anyone, and just to give, you need to put a member to give the coins to. And if I just don't put any coins amount, it's gonna say you need to put an amount. And if I just put some random text in here, um, it will just return it. As you can see, nothing has happened. Everything works as we expected that it should work. And let's make a balance command too. Uh, to end up today's video and you can also look for other functions um i can also make another video like i said in the beginning of the video if this video gets a lot of support then i will definitely make another video uh giving you know teaching guys other other stuff but there's all the, all the methods you need to learn is basically here there is nothing hard about it so i'm just saying you're just gonna do balance.js so the balance.js uh command we just have to basically first um do the same thing as give but at this time we need to rename this to balance and we need to remove this uh well i mean we can just no we don't need this so and then we need to add or in here this means or in javascript message dot member because either we're trying to get our balance or other people's balance so i think that makes pretty much sense to everyone um now we need to get the amount and as you can see there's already an example here i'm just going to show it to you guys there we go so user await mongo currency that find user so go ahead and find ours in the mongodb database and then it's going to send us uh you know send us the result 
Uh, I'm gonna just copy and paste it because I don't want to make this video long. And I think you guys know what is going on. Just, I'm just creating an embed, or I don't. I don't have to actually create it. I just can do message the channel that send, and then just send. Um, let's let's try out. There is. Hold on. Your wallet money is. So I'm going to remove this as well. We don't need it. There we go. So the wallet money we're going to put is coins in wallet. So we're going to use user.coinsinwallet. So I think this is going to work without any problems because this is actually pretty simple. It's not even that hard. So we just have to do no dot again. And if I do balance, I believe it should work without any problems. Your wallet money is 20. And let's check. There we go. The coins in wallet is 20. And uh, there we go. Everything is straightforward. I think everything is pretty clear. You can just make yourself an uh, economic system pretty fast with this package. And uh, if you want to maybe to make another video like a part 2 or part 3 or part 4 anything, you just have to like today's video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below or join our Discord server if you need any help. Because uh, I'm just I'm just sitting here waiting for ideas. And if I see people actually support uh, my videos, I will definitely why not making another one, right? So... Thank you guys for watching today's video and if you like it go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video if it helped you comment down below if you have any problem join to our discord server if you want to faster support and we also have a lot of fun stuff going on around there we also ask for people for suggestions as well so i think if you have any ideas to want to you want to spur with other people or want me to make video about i will definitely recommend you guys join to our discord server and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching today's video this is dash and i'm out